Tesla is poising itself to be the leading auto manufacturer in, say, 10 years, probably beating Toyota, Ford, and GM from the competition. Seeing that the EV transition rate is becoming higher and higher, the limiting factor to this transition seems to be battery availability. Today, we take a look at Tesla's new manganese battery chemistry and how it would cause Tesla's production capability to explode numerically. Welcome to Tesla Today. Here, we talk about the latest news and the things Tesla is doing to transition the world to sustainable energy. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. If you are new here and you like the content we put out, please subscribe and like our videos. It encourages us to make more. Recently, Volkswagen announced that the ID4 electric SUV is sold out, and Ford also made the same announcement about its Lightning offering. Though, it increased production forecasts to accommodate more pre-orders. Though some Teslas have sold out too, they have still managed to ship by far the highest number of battery electric cars than any other automaker. That is because Tesla is targeting the real limiting factor to EV adoption and taking steps to cross that barrier. In line of this, Elon Musk announced a new battery chemistry Tesla is developing that is going to make Tesla dominate the EV space in the future. Information on Tesla's long-term plans for battery production, as disclosed by Elon Musk, shows that the company may be developing new battery chemistry that uses a manganese-based cathode. Musk has made it clear throughout the years that he does not believe in battery breakthroughs, at least not in the conventional sense. This is to imply that he doesn't expect some crazy new battery format to completely transform the EV industry overnight. Companies have been working on solid-state batteries for years, and while they are frequently announcing breakthroughs, these technologies are still not being used in any mass-production electric vehicle product. And if that research money was used on focused improvements on currently available and production-level technologies, it would provide more return on investment. That is what Musk is all about and it shows in his battery endeavors. Batteries can be made with different materials or a combination of a few materials in different quantities would yield different results. This can be seen in Tesla's recent implementation of LFP batteries, which are used in Tesla's low-range cars. This means when one material becomes too expensive or unavailable, a new battery formula can relatively easily be made. This gives Tesla much leeway in dealing with supply chain issues, and also these new technologies can help make new batteries safer with higher efficiency longevity, performance, and responsible and sustainable sourcing. Musk recently delivered a lengthy speech to Tesla factory workers at the grand opening of the company's new Gigafactory near Berlin, Germany. He also took the time to answer questions from attendees. During the speech, Musk shared that an industry focus on battery supply chain materials is paramount to the future of EVs. One attendee asked Musk about graphene-based batteries, the CEO noted the complexity of dealing with graphene before confirming that Tesla will continue to rely on nickel-based battery chemistries for longer-range cars and LFP for shorter-range versions. He also mentioned the potential for using manganese. Quote, I think there's an interesting potential for manganese. While this may have come as a surprise to some folks, Remember that Musk talked about manganese back at the company's battery day in 2020, when he was revealing Tesla's 4680 battery cell concept. Musk shared, quote, It is relatively straightforward to do a cathode that's two-thirds nickel and one-third manganese, which will allow us to make 50% more cell volume with the same amount of nickel. Musk announced that Tesla sees potential in battery chemistry with a manganese-based cathode. There's a key reason why manganese is part of solving Tesla's supply chain issues. I think in the near decade future, a lot of Tesla vehicles will be lithium ion phosphate well over because those minerals are more abundant and easier to get. Musk is suggesting a battery chemistry that is relatively straightforward, 
which is create a cathode that is two-thirds nickel and one-third manganese, which will allow Tesla to make 50% more nickel base cells with the same amount of nickel. So, this is one of the solutions for nickel being astronomically expensive and supply not being big enough. At very large scale, Tesla needs tens, maybe hundreds of millions of tons of nickel. So the material used to produce these batteries at a very large scale needs to be common materials or you can't scale to the degree needed to push EV adoption rates over the limits. As Elon Musk laid down the vision back in 2020 in which he projected Tesla being able to produce 20 million cars a year by 2030, steps need to be taken to make it come to pass, and this manganese strategy might just be it. Outside of Tesla's research and improvements on battery chemistry using manganese, the number of research groups that have published papers that promise manganese rich cathode batteries that could offer options with a higher energy density than iron phosphate and potentially lower price than nickel rich batteries have increased dramatically. So, there seems to be actual hope for this technology to pull through. Manganese is already used by Tesla in some battery chemistries, but it is not the prominent component of any of them. For example, Tesla has used manganese in battery chemistry for batteries going into Tesla Powerwalls before. Nissan has also used a manganese-rich cathode in the original battery of the LEAF. Estimates show that the world is going to need 300 terawatt hours of battery cell production in order to transition fully to a sustainable future. That is an obscene figure. So we have to figure out where the minerals to make these batteries will come from. Recycling could help, but it's just a drop of water compared to an ocean. That is why we need battery chemistries with other minerals that are very common. However, the signs certainly show that Tesla will get there first. If you liked this video, hit the like button. Send us your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.